Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will make the overhauling of Exhaust Valve Actuator. So let's start directly on ZAM. Uh, oh, this also this video I have made before but I don't know something uh, strange noises came there so I would like to remake it again. So let's start. Let's quickly get our. Okay. This is how it looks like. This is uh, really has some similarities with the fuel pump, the fuel booster pump. And as we can see, the first similarities is the cover here, the hydraulics, how it plays, but only this is a smaller version of that uh, fuel booster pump. Okay, there's also some designs uh, differences, but anyway, it looks like a baby uh, pump. So first of all, what we will do, we will remove and disassembly with these lock nuts and the protection of the thread here also will be removed. And then later on we can dismantle these hydraulic nuts. Also for here probably uh, the design was to have some kind of hydraulic nuts and hydraulic tools, but uh, as we can see, hydraulic tools are missing from this uh, simulator. Also, the cover probably it will be uh, removed, and some of the one moment I will check on the top. Yes, here we have some eye bolts which will be attached. For sure, this kind of equipment it's very very difficult to leave by hand because it's uh, it has. Uh, some of weight for sure Here we will dismantle the o-rings that uh, Our Actuator seats and as you can see there is the studs remain Always check if they slack also by hand It is a very very good Solution for checking so let's remove our eye bolts and let's check together and let's get closer here to see any kind of details for our allen bolts. Really my dear friends, the quality of this simulator it's really really amazing because there is a lot of detailization and the texture it's really really nice and smooth. Uh, and really really represents uh, all the parts and as I have seen uh, there is a lot of jobs and uh, there is a lot of uh, jobs done here this is really really amazing because uh, latest uh, I have tried also this kind of simulator so we will take out this uh, piston outside now and Let's remove also the eye bolt and it's really really amazing how difficult uh, to do such uh, design. First of all, uh, to make this kind of design you will need to have all the sketches and in the future also I will try to make some kind of uh, this interesting stuff in 3D modeling. It's really really interesting and also this kind of uh, programs are really really expensive if you like to run them uh, let's say the original programs they're really really expensive uh, for one year Le they cost about 200 or 300 uh, dollars but really really in nowadays you can really really design uh, everything quickly and uh, let's say before 10 years we even cannot imagine that so let's go for the assembly direct as you can see we finish it really really quickly 
so we can proceed also uh, for the assembly really really a lot of things that uh, when i started let's say uh, sailing on board the vessels really uh, we we hear about the electronic engines and uh, hopefully they already started in that uh, year around 2005 already there was uh, the first electronic engines Uh, that I have listened that was already uh, running okay let's see the cover goes out no loading okay and hopefully these kind of engines through the time they became better and better and now in nowadays it's really really improved and further for sure the knowledge uh, will be improved for sure there will not be any engines uh, of the old type anymore they will be disappeared and only uh, as the years and as the time will passing it will be like a museum and like a history so let's pick up let's turn it up okay and let's place this uh, piston inside back again as we can see and as i have also a uh, see through, through, through the time that very very important is the design to be simple because by simplicity uh, the overhaulings the procedure and the maintenance itself it will be very very easy be also my dear friends very very carefully when you attach some kind of this uh, let's say some eyeballs or some uh, special tools be very very careful to not leave them on board inside let's say like this one that we pick up before here the eyeball on the piston because uh, if you are hurry and never hurry that is true because uh, if you are hurry you always will forget something or you will make any kind of improper tightening or damage really really never never hurry for any reason uh, because it is really not necessary So whatever you are doing, be always a calm. So let's see what else we need to place here. Uh, one moment, I will see. Okay, probably we will need to set these eyeballs okay. <coughs> really really many many of the problems my dear friends come uh, from this kind of uh, things when we are here when we uh, have not adequate sleep and i don't know really my dear friends and through the times i have met a lot of uh, stuff that really really they do not care about uh, the working hours of people and this is what really really matters uh, for good health and most of the problems that uh, the people get on board the vessel it's from not adequate sleep and also uh, not adequate resting uh, during the night because maybe there is a lot of alarms coming and let's say that in night time also you have many many alarms and another day uh, the head of department likes you to work as a normal day this is not also appropriate uh, what i did before 
when I was second engineer and we have a good communication with chief engineer, uh, the guys that had any kind of alarms during the night time, I always uh, release them earlier so they can be rest and feel as much as possible better. The job was done normally, nothing happened really and nothing will be uh, going for damage and never never we had any problems there's other crew that working seven or ten hours and they have always job how is that possible i don't really know <laughs> and it's really really funny <laughs> and we did and we was more productive than somebody working even 15 or 20 hours we can prove it and also we can test it if somebody like that one so we have finished our exhaust valve actuator assembly and disassembly procedure. Thank you my dear friends that you have subscribed to the channel and also you press the bell button for any further notifications. Don't forget also to check the playlist. There is a lot of material in the playlist. And don't forget also to check the sites that I have uploaded uh, on the right side of the main page of the channel. Also, my dear friends, don't forget that I will make as much as possible for you to upload these kind of materials in some rare uh, files. So you will get a board also uh, and you will try as much as possible to figure out these simulators. Thank you again and see you again in the next video from Adventure Story. Bye bye.